Raise your hand watching this if you're an observer, if you think that you can just grab some handle and some electrical signal can go around your body and predict your body fat percentage accurately. Coach Greg, in today's video, was I wrong? Can you imagine me being wrong? Well, occasionally, perhaps 1% of the time, I do get it wrong. And when I do, I will 100% admit it. And so what happened was I tested the world's strongest man's body fat percentage using both my laser eyes and skin full body fat testing. And it came out at close to 28%. Mitchell Hooper was not happy. He thought he was closer to 20%. But seeing he was well over 300 pounds, about six foot two, perhaps six foot three, I could see that he had a significant amount of fat. Not fat for a straw man competitor. In fact, very, very lean. But for ideal health, body fat percentage was in fact far above 20%. And remember, it's very difficult to be healthy at over 300 pounds. It places a greater stress on the heart. The heart has to pump out more blood. And so it is very difficult to be a world's strongest man and be 100% healthy. But remember, Mitchell Hooper is very young and extremely agile and has ran marathons. And so of all the straw man competitors in the entire world, if I had to pick who's the healthiest, I'm going with Mitchell Hooper. But this video is about, am I wrong? And so he's using science to accurately attest his body fat. And remember, I used a skin fold caliper. To me, that's based on science. And my layers or eyes, well, that's super physiological powers from somewhere far beyond. Perhaps Krypton, I don't know. I have laser eyes that can test people's body fat just by looking at them. And so let's get right into it. We're gonna take a look at some of the booths because there's a whole lot of cool and interesting nerdy science stuff. So if you guys wanna learn a little bit more, keep watching. And so I was expecting the video to be all about body fat testing, but it's actually a lot more interesting. They're talking about ventilation threshold, VO2 max, all kinds of stuff that I'm really into. And so if you wanna watch this full video, I highly suggest you go and check it out. I can't cover it all right now. I'm focusing on body fat percentage, but Mitchell Hooper is explaining a guy. I'm actually very good at cardio. I used to run marathons. And so Mitchell Hooper, like Coach Greg, he's a master of both. He does both cardio, he's done lifting he's good at everything so greg just said uh, broke my heart and told me 30 percent body fat we're gonna vet it and i do believe it was 28 percent body fat let's not exaggerate i think it was around 28 percent. i believe it was 28.3 percent that came up on the calipers broke his heart no one wants to hear that they perhaps have more fat than they actually have but on average remember i've been doing this for decades i'm literally old enough to be mitchell hooper's father not saying i'm smarter no more than him i'm just saying i'm that old and I've done this for decades. And for the most part, most people underestimate their body fat percentage and on average by about five percentage points. And so if I ask somebody, the average person say, what body fat percentage you are? Guy might say, I'm 20%. On average, probably gonna be 25. Average female say, they say 25%, probably gonna be 30. And so that's just based on my experience having done this with thousands of athletes. Maybe via... Electro, electricity pass through my hands and feet. See if that gives us a more favorable result. And so this is what happens. People will do all the tests and they'll listen to the one that makes them feel the best. Coach Greg's laser eye says 28% and bioelectrical impotence says this, DEXA scan says that, underwater weighting is this one. Oh, my mom said I'm skinny. They go with their mom. I'm going with whatever makes me feel good. And so unfortunately, the test that he's using based on science, bioelectrical impotence is probably the least accurate of all of them. Certainly far less accurate than Coach Greg's laser eyes. So it is multiple frequencies. It is an electrical current that runs through the body. So it's safe to use provided that you don't have a heart condition or a pacemaker. So you uh -huh. don't? No. Okay, and are you currently pregnant? And so yeah, if he wants to be pregnant, he can identify as what he wants. Well, in reality, you can, you can, males can get pregnant, but well, uh, let's not open up that can of worms. Body fat percentage will be interesting. So I'll give you, my body weight is about 325. Okay. What do you think muscle reading? Let's go 189. And so he's 325 pounds, refuses to guess his muscle mass, the lean body tissue, but says, yeah, lean body tissue, muscle mass, 189 pounds. And so let's do some quick math to say what that would predict his body fat percentage is because, hey, it's science. 189 out of 325. I'm going to do a quick division and tell you what body fat percentage she did not dare suggest that he is. 20 minutes later. And so if he only has 189 pounds of lean tissue, that is 58% of his body weight, which would mean he would have 42% body fat. 
I certainly know for certain there's no way he only has 189 pounds of muscle. Imagine if he were 5% body fat, that would mean he would roughly compete at 200 pounds. Does he look like he'd have to lose 125 pounds to get down to 5% body fat? Of course not. And so he's far leaner than 42%. I'm telling you, he's in the 20s. You can clearly see that he's in the 20s percent body fat. Certainly not over 30, but definitely not at 20% body fat. 321. Stop moving around. <laughs> Feet are good. We're going to grab the handles Moment like a wheelbarrow. Moment of truth. So thumbs on top. And so he gets up on the scale and he weighs 321 pounds. And he grabs a handle. Raise your hand watching this if you're an observer, if you think that you can just grab some handle and some electrical signal can go around your body and predict your body fat percentage accurately. Does anyone think that bioelectrical impedance analysis is actually an accurate assessment of body fat? Or is it a wild freaking guess? Greg, I printed a report. Greg. Your caliper skills are being put on blast at the moment. Mitchell, or shall I call you Michael? Are you getting me upset? What are you doing right now? The calipers are more accurate than the bioelectrical impedance test. Are you kidding me? I don't even need to watch the percentage. When you don't believe me, let me read the conclusion of that test that's being used right now. Conclusions. When compared to results obtained during MRI, which is in fact the golden standard, remember the MRI is the only test that is actually accurate. I trust the MRI more than my laser eyes. And so if it was an MRI test and it came up as any percent, I'm saying I'm proven wrong. BIA significantly underestimates fatness. And so let me rephrase that for the younger people watching. It means that test that he's using, on average, under reports body fat percentage, meaning it gives a lower number than it actually is. And so whatever number is stated, most likely it's going to be higher. I'm going to guess probably 5% higher. Same thing as when people say, oh, I'm 15%, probably 20, 30%, probably 35. And so whatever number is being spitted out, I'm guessing it's going to be a lot higher in the real world using an MRI, which is the golden standard. Overall, accuracy was poor. It uses the word poor, not okay, not I, not below average, poor. Last I checked as a school teacher, when someone was doing poor in school, it meant they were doing bad. And so I could replace the word poor with bad. Overall, that test is bad. And so to use a bad test to say Coach Greg's laser eyes and calipers is wrong, well, I don't think that's conclusive evidence to support that fact. Overall accuracy was poor, and it can be concluded that BIA showed poor agreement with MRI in the quantification of fat mass. And so if you want to use that test, use it with a grain of salt. Understand that it's probably going to give you a lower percent body fat than you actually are. And so whatever number you have, perhaps add 5%. But it's most certainly not accurate. And so it's not enough to prove Coach Greg is wrong. So your lean body mass, so muscle and water, everything minus fat is 256 pounds. So your cool. lean body mass was, I said 189, if we were going to go with water, right? And so the tester predicted it would be 189. The true results, 256. And so she was off by 67 pounds. And so you now understand what I'm saying, she predicted he was 189 pounds of muscle, and that would mean that the remaining was well over 100 pounds of fat, which resulted in a 42% body fat analysis. That is what has happened. When she said 189 pounds, and Mitchell Hooper looked at her and was like, uh, okay. He knew for certain he had way more muscle than that. Personally, I think he probably has 230 pounds of muscle, not 256. I don't believe that for one second. If Mitchell Hooper were to do a bodybuilding competition at 5% body fat, do you really think he would weigh close to 275 pounds on stage? If he has 256 pounds of 0% body fat, and you add 5% more fat to that, you have to add about 13 pounds. 256 plus 13, 268. Do you really think he could compete at the Mr. Olympia 268 pound shred? I I don't think so. If he got down to 268 pounds, he'd still have 20 plus pounds of body fat to lose. Uh, your dry lean mass, so if we were to shrivel you up like a prune, you'd be 69 pounds of dry lean mass. What's the highest you've ever seen? I would probably say this is the highest I've it ever has seen. To be, right? Yes, yeah. Okay. And so she says, this is the most muscle I've ever tested on any single person. Now remember, the more of an outlier you are, the more inaccurate testing tends to be. When you're an extreme outlier, perhaps three or four standard deviations away from the mean, testing that's done for the average person, it's not as accurate. And that's where Coach Greg's laser eyes come in handy. I'm very good at doing this. 
And so his overall fat mass, according to this test, 64.9 pounds. And so what body fat percentage does that work out to be? Then your body fat percentage is 20%. So you are in that healthy average. Men should be 10 to 20%. Your 20% body fat percentage at noon. Craig. And so she's so proud of herself. I'm happy to report that you're in that healthy average. Men should be between 10 and 20%. You're 20. Yet the test I just read when the study shows it under reports body fat percentage. And so if you're using this inaccurate test to decide if you're healthy, well, it's not good. And so when you're watching this video and thinking, Coach Craig is so mean, he says it is. He doesn't know anything. Do you not think it could help you? If you go and do this test and it says you're at 20% body fat and you leave there thinking, I'm perfectly healthy. I don't need to lose weight. I'm as healthy as a horse. Well, perhaps you're not. What if your body fat percentage using a true test MRI says you're at 25%? Then you should perhaps for your health lose 5%. Now remember, he's an extreme athlete. He's a world's strongest man. I'm not saying you should try to lose body fat. I'm not saying that in the slightest. More body weight, probably going to lift heavier weights. But what I am saying is this is not conclusive evidence to say that Coach Greg's laser eyes do not work. We're looking at you, Greg. Could you for the camera just say, Greg, you're full Greg, of shit. what he said. Do you believe Coach Greg's accurate or are you going with the BIA? Let you decide. I just present the arguments. You can make up your own mind. It doesn't matter, it doesn't as matter. The Rock knows in the end. He's doing amazing. He's the world's strongest man. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section. Do you believe he's 20% body fat, or do you think he's perhaps 25 or even more? And remember, you can also use this information to backtrack. And does anyone think that he could walk around at close to 290 pounds with 10% body fat? And so you would notice if he dieted down to 290 pounds and got to perhaps 15% body fat, he would say, wow, I didn't know I had that much more fat to lose. And so if I had to guess based on what I'm seeing here, remember, I tested his body fat a long time ago. Perhaps he's gotten leaner. He's training harder than last time. He's getting more muscle. His metabolism is probably faster. And so based on what I saw in this video, I would say 25% body fat, very accurate. I don't know where he came with 30%. I thought I said 28. And I'm saying the bet and odds on an MRI, probably a thousand to one that he's at 20% body fat. I believe he's far closer to 25 than 20. You can believe me if you want. You can go with this test if you want. Perhaps you're a fan of this test. I'm saying I don't like it. Let's see what's going on in the comment section. Remember, I haven't watched this video yet. Coach Greg is recording a video faster than last time. There is no way he will leave this unchallenged. Considering that's the number one comment, yes, very accurate. Of course I'm going to challenge this. For a strong man, you are very lean compared to what we have seen in the past. But I think you are between these two ranges. Remember, I said 28%. I'm saying 25 now, based on what I see in the physique right now, the test is coming out at 20. It would be interesting to see further examples like a DEXA submerged underwater or an MRI scan, which I've heard is the most accurate. Exactly. The MRI is for certain the golden standard. DEXA scan, not nearly as accurate as the MRI. I tested one of these and got 7% body fat reading. I was just below 15% at the time, actually, so I'd say there is a small window of error on these. Yeah, by small, as in it had double the body fat percentage it predicted. Remember, on average, it underreports body fat percent. He said he was at 7%, but he was actually close to 15. That's double. 14 is double 7. 14 is close to 15. And so he had twice as much fat on his body as he thought. I did a test with one of these, as well as the DEXA. This machine said I was 8, and the DEXA scan said I was 14. That's 6% more, almost double. And so we're seeing a pattern. Remember, I'm reading these comments in order. I'm not cherry picking. I guess 24%. And I think Greg's response will be that this style of measure varies up to 8%. But no, he's not 30. Regardless of what I said back then, if it was 30 or 28, that's not his physique right now. I can only judge a person's body fat by what they are now. And so if I say you're 30% body fat in 1972, it doesn't mean you're still 30% body fat in 2023. When I saw Mitchell Hooper, whatever the caliper said was within 0.3 of my guess. I think I said 28, it was 28.3. I don't remember the number, but I certainly know he's not 20%. The test underestimates body fat. And so he's higher than 20. Sorry, ending it here. Looking for improved cardio to allow you to burn more calories, have more energy, better endurance. How could you not pick up GO2 Max? Have you seen the studies? NMN is the real deal. One of the main ingredients in GO2 Max. Highly suggest you get it. It'll help you to get better cardio, endurance, more energy. Andrew Huberman and others, they spoke of this on the Joe Rogan podcast. Everyone's talking about it. It's my number one selling supplement. The best one that I recommend everyone should take. And if you're interested in this, 
Code Greg, 10% off. Click the link in the description. And remember, buy in bulk. You save more than ever before. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Watch one of those boobs. Remember, this is all good fun. We're trying to teach you about body fat percentage. It's not a big deal. And don't forget the cookbooks, the training books, the circle diet book, life's work, how to lose weight, keep it off for the rest of your life. Watch the videos. We're getting in on 100,000 copies sold. So many people. Think of it. Close to 100,000 people losing weight using Coach Greg's cookbooks. And until next time, I am out.